Hello, welcome guys to another video of Serious Hobbyist. And in this video, we are going to learn some basics of animation in PowerPoint. So, one of the most important thing to learn in PowerPoint, basically. So, let's get started. Uh, in a new slide, uh, let us draw some shapes on which we can apply animation. We can draw some shapes, or we can add some text also. And uh, we can apply. We can try applying animation to it. So, button right. Harvest to. So, uh, now we can come here to the animation uh, tab, and to highlight all these options, first we have to select the object on which we want to apply animation, and then we can add animation. First of all, let us get an animation pair here, so we can keep track of all our animation that we are doing in this slide. So uh, uh, now on the add animation tab option, we can see the basically the animations are classified in four types that are entrance, emphasis, exit, and motion paths. So all the animations are classified in these four types. Entrance basically means uh, the way the object will enter into the scene. So uh like uh, if you don't apply this entrance the object will be there on the scene where you left it i mean where you drawn it but uh, by applying this entrance effect it will appear at that position maybe uh like you can say in this type so earlier object was not there and then you apply this animation of type entrance so it will enter the way that you are specifying here uh, well we'll go in more details uh, here more effects option first let's have an overview of all these categories of option now emphasis means the object is already there and then it is animating something so like spin actually we won't see spin in a circle basically but uh, say transparency so the object is already there but it'll, it'll get transparent so it will emphasize itself by animating something then comes the exit so exit is just opposite of entrance because object is already there and you don't you want to move it out of the scene so maybe by say random bars so it will disappear from the scene and that's what for these exit animations are for and then we have motion paths so we can move the object anywhere in the scene by having these motion paths like circle and uh, you can even you can even see the path here so and it's actually quite editable and you can edit the points and a lot of things are there so we'll go in detail uh, slowly so and all the animation that you have applied are shown here and you can actually modify all these animations from here so let's first of all delete all this animation that I just clicked while showing you and select the object and add animation and we look a bit more animation style so these are the i mean can be the most recently used here or the most frequently used or whatever but uh, more options more effect options you can explore from here for entrance emphasis exist and motion paths so let's look for the entrance effects there are many but still uh, as with the shapes in powerpoint uh, they might look limited to you because uh, uh, like a split so you can see they are splitting uh, they are starting from the sides and coming and merging in the center with this animation but it's not so there are so many properties that you can tweak and uh, come up with a new animation that uh, uh, animation that are not here and you can make almost uh, customize like anything so uh, here are the few animations I mean, they are plenty in themselves, but still you can tweak properties to get, make something of your own. So, um, say uh, stripes. So, this is how my, I want my object to enter into the scene. I press OK. Now, say I want to emphasize my object. So, I'll go here and uh, I'll have more emphasis effects. Uh, these are the effects that uh, I can apply. The selected effects are the effects that I, that I can apply on an object, but uh, there are some high, uh, dim effects. Uh, they are not selectable because 
they cannot be applied on object they can only be applied on text so like font color there is no font in this shape so it's not highlighted similarly bold flash and brush color and uh, bold reveal and all that so for this our shape uh, i can choose uh, some going shrink uh, transparency okay i'll choose transparency and i press ok and uh, i want my object to exit from the scene with uh, again uh, these are uh, as you will notice that these are just opposite of entrance so I choose strip uh, as you might remember the first the object in this entrance scene is start coming from this top right corner and in this it's again disappearing into that so uh, they are just almost opposite of the entrance effects so still i'll use a bit different one mm, sink down okay sink down that is and i also add some motion path to it uh, motion parts yeah, yeah there are very interesting motion parts here and there are many so i mean the combination of them can be used to get something unique so really the sky is the limit here and uh, um, for right now i'll use um simple 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 something okay bean whatever i do okay so bean i'll use now all the four animations that I've added to this object are appearing here and if I select this object uh, no animation is uh, assigned to it but if I select this option as you can see all four get selected so these are four animations are related to this object it's uh, quite simple and uh, even in if this animation pane is is open you can see the numbers that are number of uh, number of animation that are attached to it basically these are not number of animation but uh, these are like uh, uh, yeah number of an number of mouse click you can say that uh, okay i'll uh, tell about this in a bit detail uh, so we are done with this uh, add animation effects because basically there are four only and now i'll explore a bit about animation pair 